Barkha Batra. I study in class 11 in Step by Step School, Noida, and I live in Sarita Vihar. I've been working with the Nine is Mine campaign for over four years now, and the reason I love Nine is Mine so much is because it appreciates the fact that we as children aren't future citizens of the world. We're citizens today, and our voices need to be heard right now. And Nine is Mine provides us with these platforms to be able to voice our opinions, not only at local and national levels, but also at international levels. For example, in 2013, I was part of a delegation of 11 children who went to the United Nations in New York around the time of the General Assembly to be able to represent the views of children in India on the post-2015 development agenda. Working with Nine is Mine has enabled me to introspect about things that go on in my everyday life. For example, recently I'd gone for my cousin's wedding, which was this big, lavish wedding with lots of food of different cuisines. And I realized that once the ceremony was over, there were piles of food lying on the side because people just didn't bother to finish what they had piled onto their plates. And looking at that wasted food, I thought of how on the way to that very wedding, every time we stopped at a traffic light, there was a child who came up and knocked at our car window begging for food because she didn't have any to eat. I appreciate the fact that the UN has included uh, Goal 12 in the Sustainable Development Agenda, which is to ensure sustainable production and consumption patterns. Uh, our world is going to have 9 billion people by 2050. In order to ensure that we have enough resources for these 9 billion people, we need to start producing and consuming in a sustainable way right now without destroying the environment. Our world produces enough food to be able to feed every man, every woman and every child, yet there are 870 million people who go without food. Even if we saved one-fourth of the amount of food that we waste, these 870 million people will have enough food to eat. We readily talk about making poverty history, but as an important component of that, on behalf of children not only in India and the Global South, but across the world, I ask, are we ready and seriously willing to also make lavish lifestyles history? Highlight our present, light up our future.